In this video, we are going to step by step install K3OS and the United Manufacturing Hub on an industrial PC. K3OS is an operating system designed for Kubernetes. The United Manufacturing Hub is a free and open source software for scalable industrial IoT infrastructure and uses Kubernetes for orchestration of its microservices. Here is what you need for the installation. In IPC or industrial PC, we use the Carbon 300 from OnLogic. This is basically a computer in a very robust case used in production. This IPC is going to do all the processing and storing of our data in our tutorial demo setup. To install K3OS and the United Manufacturing Hub on our IPC, we need a USB drive, a keyboard, a monitor and internet access. Also necessary is your own computer or laptop as a development PC. First, we're going to download K3OS. The link to the website is in the video description. You can also find it in the United Manufacturing Hub documentation of the installation process. Choose the latest version, not the pre-release version and download the K3S AMD 64.ISO. This can take a while. Now we put our empty USB stick in our development laptop and use the program Balena Etcher to install K3S on a stick. Balena Etcher is a free and open source software. The download link is in the video description. Click Flash from File, choose the K3S ISO and click Open. Now make sure the USB stick is selected. All files on it will be removed. In the end, hit flash and wait. This process might also take quite some time. After the installation is done, we can remove the USB stick and put it in the industrial PC. Let's now set up the IPC for installation. Connect it with an Ethernet cable to a switch. The switch should be connected to the internet. We insert the USB key and connect the monitor and keyboard to the IPC for the initial installation. Now that everything is prepared, we can boot up the IPC. Depending on the IPC's boot order, you might need to enter the BIOS and specify to boot from the USB stick. In our case, we get into the boot menu by continuously clicking F12 and delete doing boot up, but you can try all the other F keys or just look it up in the manual. We switch to our screen capture of the IPC's video output so that you can see it more clearly. We now boot from the USB stick. The BIOS of your device might look different, but should have similar functionality. Now choose K3OS Live CD and Installer by hitting Enter or just wait until it boots automatically. The IPC boots now from the USB stick. Specify Rancher as username. Type in sudo k3os install and hit enter. You want to install to disk, so type in 1 and hit enter. Now, K3S is going to ask us for the target, so on which hard drive you want to install it. But we don't really know what disk SDA and what disk SDB are. That's why we cancel the installation process for now by hitting Ctrl C, because we don't want it to install K3OS on the wrong disk. To identify the disks, we can type lsblk and hit enter to get an overview over the different drives. We then choose the one of our IPC. In our example, there are two drives, one of the USB stick, the installer is currently running on, and one of the IPC. We can identify SDB as our stick by the K3S system boot mount point. This means SDA must be on the disk of the IPC. Now that we've identified the IPC's hard drive, 
We again start the installation process by running sudo k3os install, specifying install to disk by entering 1 and we select SDA as the target by typing 1 and hitting enter. We choose to configure the system with the cloud init file by entering Y and hitting enter. As cloud config, you specify https umh.app slash development.yaml. This cloud init file gets downloaded, and this is also why you need the internet connection, and is like a blueprint for Kubernetes. If you want to be really secure against attacks, you can manually download the file, check it, and then self-host it in your network. But in this development case, that is definitely not necessary. For production use, we recommend using our management console, which provides you with an UI for configuring and monitoring the UMH stack. We hit enter and continue with the installation by again typing Y and hinting enter. The installation process of K3S on the IPC disk starts. Now the IPC automatically restarts. Make sure to remove the USB stick because we want the IPC to boot from its own hard drive. After booting, wait for 60 seconds and the automatic setup is going to start. During that time, we can already take a note of the IPC's IP address. We are going to need it later. After the 60 seconds are over, the installation process continues. We can see that SSH is enabled and the initial setup is finished. Let's switch over to the screen recording of our development laptop. We now want to connect to the IPC via SSH from our development laptop. This is convenient because the IPC might be installed in a machine in a production, maybe without the option for a keyboard and monitor. Additionally, there is no graphical user interface installed on the IPC's operating system. The SSH connection is going to allow us to use the IPC remotely from our development PC. Because I'm running Windows on the development PC, I installed the free software Mobile Xterm for the SSH connection. The download link is in the description. Open Mobile Xterm and click on Session. Choose SSH and type in the IP address of our IPC. Specify Rancher as username. Now hit OK. Type Rancher as password and hit Enter. After choosing not to store the password, we are connected to the IPC via SSH. We can check the connection by typing ifconfig eth0, where eth0 specifies our Ethernet port on the IPC. This confirms we have a working connection. You can also use the command in case you forgot the IP address of your IPC. That's it. We successfully installed K3S and the United Manufacturing Hub and connected via SSH. In the next video, we are going to set up and customize the United Manufacturing Hub based on Kubernetes with Lens.